everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I will be using three of these trays from Dollar Tree. Now, in a previous video, I used two to create a vase. After that video was uploaded, I received loads of messages from people saying that the vase reminded them of a purse. So I promised quite a few of you guys <laughs> that I would come back in and create a purse slash vase using these same trays. Now I'm hoping that it turns out like I see it in my mind. Some of it I really don't know yet. So I'm just gonna figure this out as we go, okay? I'm going to take this one tray and trace it onto this paper. Now I'll cut this out. Okay, so now we have the shape of the tray. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fold this. So what I'm doing now is making the flap for the purse. I just wanna make sure that it's even all the way across. So now maybe I want it to go at an angle. Maybe here like that. I want the flap to go like this. So now I'm going to take my blue marker, hold this down, and trace this across. Maybe I want it to come in a little bit more in the center. Maybe more of a point like that. So now I'm going to get my hot knife and then we'll cut this out. Okay, so while the hot knife heats up, I took the bottom half and folded it. So now I'm going to create an opening for the top of the vase. So I'm just going to line it up. And now just to ensure, I'm going to take the second one. Because it's opposite and I want everything to line up, I'm going to flip this over. And then trace it. I'm going to put this paper down to protect my desk. And then I'm going to use my knife to cut it. Just like that. And I went ahead and did the first one. And now when I put them together, they line up perfectly. Well, there's a small opening. So I might need to go a little bit deeper because the opening is not that big. Okay, so this wasn't deep enough. So I went ahead and made it a little bit deeper on my pattern. So now I'm just gonna put it back down and trace it. Now I'll take this one and flip this over. Now I'll do the same thing again, cut this out. just like that. So now I'll do the other side and then come back. Okay, so let's put both pieces together. Okay, so now that's much better. Now I'll go ahead and cut the purse flap. Okay, 
All right, so now we have our purse flip. And this is gonna go right on top of one of these, just like so. But before I do that, I need to go ahead and cut this out as well. Okay, so now we have this. So I'm gonna use some alcohol to remove the marker on all three pieces and then come back. Okay, so now I have all three pieces. So what I wanna do now is just glue them together. And I'm gonna start with the two main pieces first. Here I have some Gorilla Glue and this is what I'll use. right <laughs> all right so I'm gonna add some tape around the edges I'm gonna let this glue completely dry then I'll come back and move on to the next step all right guys so what I want to do now is go ahead and start adding some trim around the very front of my purse in the previous DIY, I used this metal type of bling. So I decided to go ahead and use the same bling that I used in the first DIY. Because I have plenty of it and I like how you can shape it. Alright, so I'm just going to take some of this hot glue, start gluing it around the frame. like trim with bling. This piece is cut so it goes like this and then all the way around okay. So now what I want to do is go ahead and put some bling right along the edge. Now you don't have to put that third piece on like I did. Y'all know me. I'm gonna do the most. <laughs> but I wanted it to have that edge. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is take some regular mesh bling and this is one row. This is one row and I'm going to glue it, but at an angle. So it's like this, right in front of this piece. Now normally I'll use a fix-all. I think I left it in the car. But tonight I'm gonna to use some of this Gorilla Glue and I have a popsicle stick that I cut at an angle. And I'll use this popsicle stick to apply the glue along the edge. So now I'm going to take some of the same bling and put it on these lines. I want the lines to show here. Okay, so we have this and I'm going to put some glue down and then glue it like that, right on that line. Now I'll take this piece and put it right on top of the glue. I'm just following the pattern. So again, I did the slants 
And then I came in with three pieces of bling. I'll show you how. I also made a trip to the store and purchased this Gorilla Glue. It's going to be a whole lot easier than using any other glue on the stick. So all I did was just take the glue and put it right on the line. Then you take the bling. And then just put it in place. So what I want to do now is try and cover this cloudy line from the uh, glue that I used before. Look over my chaos. I'm leaving it here because I will be using pieces from there. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down, the same trim that I'm using around here. very top I think I want to extend this pattern all the way up so off camera I'm gonna go ahead and just follow these lines with the bling and take this all the way up all right so once I do that I'll come back okay so I went ahead and added some trim all the way around the side and I also added some little bitty tiny flowers and these came from a particular bling that I found on Amazon and all I did was just cut the row of flowers and then cut them off individually and then glue them on. And now I'll take my rhinestone picker tool and use it to place my flowers right on top of the glue. So now I'll just add a few more here and then I'll come back and move on to the next step. It's up to you however you want to decorate yours. But yeah, I put four there and I'm going to actually add some rhinestones to those later. Meanwhile, there's this ridge. I want to go ahead and add some bling to it. I'm going to take one row of bling and glue it right here. So again, I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue put some down. It's going to go all the way around so I may as well just go ahead and put the glue all the way around. I'm going to let that sit there and dry. Here I have four of these flowers that I cut from this bling. When you cut off the individual flowers, you will see little strings. Just take a lighter and burn them off. So I have four. Okay, so there's two circles on this tray and they are both about the size of the flowers. So naturally, I'm gonna add a flower to each circle. Naturally, I want to use a brooch. I have this one, and I also have this one. That one's okay, but it really doesn't match this bling that well. This one does. And I like the teardrop that hangs down. Now, I've used this before on a different DIY, so I don't have to remove the piece on the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue and some hot glue, and then glue it down. right in the center. And now I can go under it and reinforce it with a little bit more hot glue. 
Oh, and I added a strip of bling here. I might just go ahead and add another strip across here as well. So yeah, I'll do that. And then I'm not gonna do anything to the back. Yeah, this is what we have. This is my purse, look at that. Now if you want to, you can add a little bit more decorations to the bottom if you want to, but I want the actual flap to be the main attraction of this purse. But yeah, look at that, isn't that pretty? So now I'll go get the feet and glue them on. Okay, so I was having some issues with the legs thing on. So I went ahead and removed the bling from the bottom. Once I attach the legs, I'll go ahead and put it right back in between there. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to take a quick break, but I'm back to glue the feet on. Again, I went ahead and cut this. I'm gonna put the feet on and then glue the piece back on. So let's get started. I'm gonna use my hot glue along with some of this Gorilla Glue. And I've decided to put these right on the edge like this. So I want to stand up. Test it. Do the same thing for this side. Test it, make sure it stands up. So now, I'll let the glue completely set up. Then I'll come back, add some lights, put it on display, and let you see what it looks like. And here's my completed glam purse face on display. And it really did come together exactly the way I saw it in my mind. But if there was one thing I would change, I would probably make the flap a little bit longer. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that you all suggested and requested this particular vase. I would love to read your comments about the vase. If you like it, if you plan on making one, if so, what would you do different? And also comment and let me know if the original one is your favorite. Okay everyone, this concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay Glam Fam, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.